Hello everyone and welcome to the Green Warriors TV where we connect you to nature. So today we bring to you a very interesting story about elephants. And we have um, Clive from the Elephant Center who will be our guest on this show. Welcome. Thank you so and much. And good morning. <coughs> good morning. <laughs> How are you feeling today? Uh, I'm excited to be here today. Uh -huh. uh, it's a great Sunday morning. Awesome. So I would love for you to tell us about um, the Elephant Center and what it does. Thank you. Elephas, Elephant Center is an organization, non-profit organization, uh, run by scientists and activists advocating for conservation of elephants through walking in education. Yeah. Ah, interesting. So this walking, why the walking and how does it happen? And okay. who walks? Yeah, so in walking, uh, we walk on designated routes, mm -hmm. majorly interacting with communities and uh, community custodians, mm -hmm. bringing them into rea reality and conservation and educating them on the plight of elephants. Ah, okay. So yeah. what has been the most exciting walk you've been on so far? Uh, the 2018 Nairobi to South Africa walk. Uh, uh, that was uh, my first walk mm -hmm. with Jim Justice Nyamu of Elephant Center. Mm -hmm. And the work was amazing. We had to learn a lot, uh, mm -hmm. interacting with communities as well. And as you walk through these communities and speak to them, what is it that you're telling them or what questions are you asking them? And what is the goal and the aim of the conversations that you have with the community? Uh, majorly, our main aim uh, is bringing the communities into light in conservation of elephants as key yeah. species in the ecosystem. Uh -huh. Because we want everybody to be part of conservation as our, our, as our national heritage as yeah. Africans. Because our elephants, they're key species in the ecosystem. Mm. And uh, we need community custodians to be, to be part and parcel of conservation. Ah, okay. This is a very interesting word you also bring up. Yeah. Um, key species and also conservation. So how, how someone might be wondering how then are elephants a key species? to conservation of environment. Thank you. Uh, we call them key species uh, because they're ecosystem changes. Uh -huh. uh, by ecosystem change, changes, it means uh, the elephants, uh, they change the ecosystem whereby mm. they, the, the elephants, 20% they, of what they consume is undigested. And when they, they, they go out, uh, they produce the bolus. Mm -hmm. And the bolus has contained 13%, up to 20% of seeds. So we, we, we call them ecosystem changes because they help in bringing, changing the ecosystem, changing the canopies to savannas, allowing other animals to come in like the big cats and you can see also in Amboseli. Ah, interesting. Cheers to yeah. me learning mm -hmm. about today. Yeah. <laughs> um, I would also want to, to bring this to light and also to understand more um, some of the fun or interesting facts because what you're mentioning is a fact that would be interesting for someone to know what are other interesting facts that you would like us to learn about today um elephants they're key species and uh they don't easily forget mm -hmm. uh they have great memory and also they're a symbol of national unity symbol of governance mm -hmm. and their communicating skills is very intensive because uh, we find Amboseli elephants, I've, I st I've studied Amboseli elephants, yeah. and uh, we find Amboseli elephants, their, mm -hmm. their methods of communication is very attractive, and they portray the finest human trait. That's why we call them, uh, we want to be close to them and conserving them. Ah, yeah. you, you said that you've studied the Amboseli elephants. Does that mean that we have many different kinds of elephants? Uh, we have, in Africa, we have two types of elephants. Uh -huh. We have the African savanna elephants mm. and the forest elephants. And so the, the forest elephants, they are now, they are more critically endangered. And okay. also the savanna elephants are endangered species. Mm. Uh, this was ratified under the CITES, the Conventional of International Trade in Endangered Species. Mm. So I take it that um, this elephants becoming endangered is one of your biggest worries and issues. Yeah. So what would you say are the biggest challenges you face so far? Uh, the biggest challenges we, we face with elephants, first of all, uh, is human retaliation. Mm -hmm. And also we have human wildlife conflict, poaching. Yeah. And also now we have uh, something is coming up, uh, development in wildlife migratory corridors, like mm -hmm. what has been happening in Amboseli, uh, the Kiliavo farm 
uh, was setting up a farm that was was going was acting to the detriment of of elephants. Mm. Uh, you know, when you block the main migratory route, we are putting the elephants into into dire and uh, social unrest, and this one mm. is going is potentially in escalating uh, the human wildlife conflict. Mm. And uh, majorly, we are trying to advocate for communities and custodians for everybody to come on board in conservation of elephants, yeah. because I believe human humans, uh, land, and animals can strike balance. Yep. Mm. So, wow, well, okay, that's, that's very interesting to, to learn about. Is there anything that is being done to now make this better? Yes, uh, we see we have uh, potential conservationists and activists, yeah. and even uh, government stakeholders. Mm -hmm. We're trying to come up together in, in mitigating the human wildlife conflict, which is a big challenge. Mm -hmm. And also we're trying to raise the awareness because uh, we have the perpetual attitude, attitude still in our communities. Mm. and uh, retaliation. So majorly, this is major, major, major conflict you're facing. Mm. But I believe uh, human wildlife conflict can be mitigated and people can yeah. indulge in constructive conservation mm. whereby we learn to live with these animals. Also, we learn to live with the elephants now, for example. Yeah. Ooh, isn't it scary? Like, you have an elephant just on the other side of your fence <laughs> and you're thinking it might just walk over your house. Uh, <laughs> okay, majorly, communities living to the proximity of wildlife, yes. uh, most of them, they know how to interact with these animals uh -huh. because the Maasai have been living with elephants in their proximity in their lifetime. Mm. And so it's good because, uh, you know, human population is increasing, yes. but again, it's weak human population that uh, move closer to the proximity of elephants and uh, other wildlife. Uh, taking up the habitats and destroying the ecosystem, and this one is scaling up human wildlife conflict. Okay, despite the challenges that um, you face with the organization, is the other, what would you say are the successes that you have had so far? Uh, the first success, uh, I would pose it back to 2013, mm -hmm. uh, after Jim Justice Nyamu, the DCE scientist, uh, when he worked in the US mm -hmm. and in the New England, uh, it pushed to the ban of of tons of ivory in England oh, yeah. and the US. Uh, and also, we have, we have, we've been in a better position in raising awareness and bringing more people on board mm. because we want more elephant ambassadors and even you're welcome to be part of this great <laughs> conservation. <Thank you. laughs> Yeah. Yes, I would definitely, definitely would like to be a part of it and to make a difference. Um, so what or where is, is now the green, sorry, not the green, where are they? Um, where is the Elephant Center headed to now? Or what is the plan? Uh, currently, we are planning to bring our, our, our work, uh, Nairobi, to Eastern Central Africa. Mm -hmm. which we want to advocate for Eastern Central Africa, raising awareness concerning those areas. Mm. Majorly want to do it education through working. We work mm. raising the concern of elephants in that route. Who can work, if I may ask once more? Everybody can walk. Mm. Everybody is invited to, to be part of this great course of conservation. And um, in case I would like to be part of the walk, what am I supposed to do? Or how do I join? Uh, you, we, you can check on our website at uh, www.elephantcenter.org. Mm. And also you can reach out to me. You can reach out to Jim Justice Nyamu for more guidance on this. Okay, so um, as you may be aware, we also have very young conservationists who are very much interested in making sure that the elephants stay alive. Yes. Yeah? So if we have a 10-year-old who would like to go for this walk, kilometers and kilometers of walking, is it accepted? Um, no. Uh, okay. We, you can always walk with us on uh, designated points, not necessarily uh, okay. to walk the whole walk, mm. but you can walk to an extent that is... It is good for your health and uh, next thing that you can manage. Also, I don't have to go all the way. Yes. Uh, so then it's accommodating every single person, as you have heard. You can join now the work that is coming up next. The contacts will be down below where you can contact Clive and his team on how to join the work. That's something that existed personally. So it would be really interesting to see the next one on your website and perhaps some of your social media handles. And thank you so much to Asiana Gardens for hosting us today. It is located in Ongatarongai, where you can come and have a very um, relaxed time, as you can see. We have a very nice um, couch here where you can just come and rest and have some tea. 
speak with some friends, family, and enjoy yourself for the weekend. And thank you so much for tuning in today. You are our warriors, and we appreciate you for always learning together with us. I have been your host, Rita Bile Mora, and this is the Green Warriors TV, connecting you to nature.